was born in a family of two sons, with, with, with me being the eldest. And in the year 1992, I lost, I lost my mother, who suffered from a hip bone disease. And um, we were so young and could not have felt the, the presence of a mother in the family. Two years later, whilst we were still mourning the, the passing on of our mother, our dad passed on. And it was so terrible in such a way that we were very young. And the, the most terrible and touching part where I felt so, so, so hurting was that my 1999, my brother passed. He was so young. I was young as well. You know, he suffered from, from a heart injuries out of beatings by my aunt. He was so touching. relatives which um, you know life at that stage without parents I couldn't be it because I remember asking for things but they never gave me not because they didn't have they had but they also had children to raise I want to approach the higher life. My goodness, never in my life was I told that you can make it in life. That you can re-establish your dreams, your ambitions in life. Because in those years, in that year, 2007, there was, a, there was an alteration. There was a transformation. You know, there was... I don't know how to explain it. It was, I met Project High Life Foundation. My goodness. After meeting Project High Life Foundation, I played uh, a volleyball um, in the Zimbabwe uh, national team. And I participated in the All Africa Games qualifiers, World Cup qualifiers, um, Zone 6 qualifiers. Well, I'm currently studying at Vega College, an institution of um, art and design. And my dream and vision is to, is to tour around the world and capture the best images that will tell the lifestyle and story of those history makers in Project High Life Foundation. I call on the whole world that there is hope for the hopeless and that there is a higher life in Christ Jesus. I'm Tatinda Mapikot, a history maker, destined by the Spirit of God to do great things.